Hey guys, Rush G here. How are you doing? And welcome back to another video. This one's a good one. It is about V Trigger One. It's gonna be quite a detailed video, so it's gonna be broken down into subsections. So there's been a number of people that have joined the channel lately, so they're um, new players. And what's different from when I started playing the game to when you guys have started playing the game is when I first started playing, there was only one V trigger, one V skill. So I was forced to learn them. And obviously that's different now because there's two V triggers and there's two V skills. So something that I've overlooked is the fact that obviously for you guys now, you get to pick and naturally you're going to go with the one that's easier to use. Makes sense. And obviously with the comments that have been thrown my way on the channel i realized there's a lot of people that don't like v trigger one now for me at first i was like wow you don't like v trigger one but now i understand it it's because it's more difficult to use in respect to how can i explain it the combos and the setups there's a lot of situations you need to be familiar with when it comes to v trigger one combos change op optimization routes change conversions change and on block so i think what's difficult for people to understand this is what do you do on block when you activate and what do you do on hit when you activate and also how do you activate i know it sounds really basic for a lot of you vets that have been on the channel for a while but it makes sense to me now. i understand the, the confusion so in this video i'm going to break it down to make it super simple for you guys it's only a few concepts you need to learn but basically which buttons do you buffer in neutral um which cause plus frames on block when you get a hit, what do you do? And then I'll go over also some examples of where V Trigger 1 makes Ken more powerful. Essentially, like if I was to explain it um, very quickly, what V Trigger 1 for Ken is, it, it basically buffs Ken. So it makes Ken's damage output higher. It makes his attacks stronger and he gets a lot more juggles. So he becomes more powerful. Thing is, is you need to know the combo routes to expose to it you know to tap into that power as cheesy as that sounds also you um it's a it's, it's a time based v trigger so i think it lasts 30 seconds so you can spend as much like you can fire power you can throw out tatsus dps fireballs as much as you want even his fireballs get buffed as well the speed and the startup um, you can throw out as many specials as you want and the, the v trigger does not drain See that? It's a time-based V-Trigger. I think it's 30 seconds. I can't remember exactly. You have all this time to net more damage and more pressure um, and scare the opponent. I really feel, when I'm in V-Trigger 1, I feel like... People say it's not a good V-Trigger. I think it is a good V-Trigger because all I need is one hit to score massive damage. Um, but if you don't know how to get the extra damage then you're not going to utilize this v trigger enough but that's the damage isn't the only thing i'm going to show you some tips now on how to use this v trigger properly which will really help your decision making when it comes to picking v trigger one and v trigger two v trigger two is very good but i think it's only good in specific matchups you shouldn't be picking v trigger two for every matchup it doesn't make sense but i think that's because there will be some knowledge you're lacking when it comes to your v trigger selection Right, so that's the introduction guys, let's go straight into it. The first topic I'm going to cover is what buttons you should buffer V Trigger 1 off of in neutral. Okay guys, so I've got the dummy Ryu set to do to guard, to guard all. And I've also got him to press 3 frame after he's blocked an attack. The reason why he's pressing 3 frame is because it's generally the fastest, well it is the fastest normal in the game. So we need to understand what frame traps we can set up when we're buffering our normals. So what you need to be aware of is where you use V-Trigger 1, you can throw out normals like this. So I'm using the medium punches specifically at the moment. And you can press V-Trigger after it, like that. So look at my inputs, I'm pressing stand medium punch, V-Trigger. And now v is coming out. The reason for that is because the V-Trigger input, the V-Trigger activation input, is um is being eaten i can't explain it it's i'm buffering it off the normal so it won't come out because the normal the stand medium punch or the you know whatever button what do you stand heavy punch is in play whilst i'm pressing v trigger so nothing happens all these attacks i'm doing 
the V trigger input is being pressed whilst I'm in either the startup, the active, or the recovery frames of the normal. But if I got close to Ryu now and I press stand medium punch, stand heavy punch, whatever, V trigger, you see what happened there? I cancelled. So the cancel of the normal into V trigger does not happen on whiff if your timing is fast. But when I get close to the opponent, I get an activation. Now what this does is it causes plus frames, which will enable you to get frame trap. Now there's certain buttons you should not use when you buffer. So lights, generally my rule is with V-Trigger 1, do not do light buffers like that. I use light kick. Do not use crouching meaning kick buffers into V-Trigger. And the reason for that is, is because they're minus or zero on block. You see that? That was actually punishable. Crouch and medium kick raw into V trigger one. It's minus three on block. Let's try light kick. Minus four. Light punch. Minus three. Now these are punishable. I didn't actually know they were punishable. So you get no frame advantage there at all. So, which buttons do you buffer off? So my general rule of thumb is, Medium punches, stand medium punch, crouch medium punch, stand medium punch if you want to, stand heavy kick. Those are the buttons you should use to um, create plus frames on block. These are the buttons you should use in neutral to buffer the V trigger. Do not use lights, do not use crouch and medium kick. You can even use sweep and it's plus on block. I believe, let's have a look, is it plus on block actually? Okay, I don't think it's plus on block. That's interesting, I thought it was. So what is it, minus on block? It looks like it's zero on block. Let's, let's try Let's try something. Yeah, okay, so it's it's zero on block. Okay, that's, so it's not, it's not your turn to a certain degree. You'll get a trade in every situation. Okay, so you don't want to, if you do sweep on block into V trigger, you are safe, but you cannot press a button, technically. So you want to use medium punches, stand medium punch, crouch and medium punch, stand heavy punch, stand heavy kick. And you can also use fireball as well. And this creates massive plus frames. So I'll give you an example here. You see that? I created a frame trap there because of the plus frames with my activation. So regular fireball and EX fireball plus on block heavily plus on block now why am i showing you this so this leads into topic number two when you buffer these normals and you activate and you have plus frames and because they if they block the attack and you activate and you get, you get plus frames that gives you a frame trap opportunity so let's look at the frame traps now you get using those buttons i just mentioned in neutral which you're buffering to cause the frame traps, to generate the frame traps. So, as mentioned, activate off of a normal, buffering in neutral, on block, plus frames, so we're going to focus on cr creating frame traps now. Generally, depending on the frame advantage, I think the main buttons you'd use are stand light punch, if you're plus two on block, if you're plus three on block, plus four, plus five, it's crouch and medium punch. And if you're like heavily plus, I think it's I think step kick activate, for example, you can use stand heavy punch to create a frame trap. Now, there's no universal rule because the plus frames are different across the different activations, but you can categorize them in the, into like those three buckets, so to speak. So let me show you a basic one first. So crouch and medium punch activate. So I'm gonna do crouch and medium punch buffer. What do I do if I get plus frames after the crouch and medium punch buffer? Um, and they've blocked the attack. You see that? So what happened there is, is I did crouch and medium punch on block, and I did immediate crouch and medium punch again into bat medium punch. So the confirm there was crouch and medium punch, bat medium punch. The crouch and medium punch, the second crouch and medium punch hits, then you confirm the back medium punch into heavy punch. Now you can optimize your damage here, so let me just show you this 
situation now. So this is where I'm talking about optimization. This I'll cover more at the end of the video. So with, without V trigger one, the optimal, I'm gonna say optimal. There is a more optimal combo to do. But I'm gonna keep it basic for this video. Crouch and medium punch, back medium punch, heavy punch. Normally EX Tats would be what you go for here at a very basic level, yeah? That's counter hit. Why is it counter hit? Let's turn counter it off. 257. Now, if I'm in V trigger one, look at the difference in damage for spending one bar. Using a more optimal combo. I've now buffed my damage with one bar to three, four, four. That's a significant difference. So this is why you need to know the different combos once you're in V trigger one compared to non V trigger. They're very different, but you, the potential for damage goes up massively. So there I did Crouch and Meaning Punch, Chin Buster. I tapped V skill. I did Light Punch DP, EX DP. I'll show you again. One bar spin, V trigger one. Compared to your one more spend without V trigger. See so the difference in damage? It's almost a hundred damage difference. Very big, very significant. So we'll cover that a bit later in the video. But going back to the exercise I was just showing you. So this creates frame traps. That's the frame trap. So you get crouch and meaning punch. Oops. Back medium punch. The big damage. Now you need to know these frame traps. Now let's look at stand medium punch. I think stand medium punch into crouching medium punch does not frame trap. Oh it does. That's really good. So now you know stand medium punch, crouch and medium punch. Just do crouch and medium punch after it. What about stand heavy punch? Let's have a look at stand heavy punch on block. Into V trigger one. Same again. And I actually think stand heavy kick is the same as well. Yeah. So there you go. I've simplified I've simplified that for you now. So medium punches. Stand heavy punch stand heavy kick. After you activate immediate crouch and medium punch. If you're worried about the, the back medium punch missing, well chin buster missing, you can just do do that if you want to. You can do crouch and medium punch, stand light kick into whatever you want. Um, stand medium uh, crouch and medium punch, stand light kick, medium kick tattoo, EXDP also works. But look at the damage difference. You do hit significantly less damage. Just to show you how even more scary this is in the corner, um, you can do... So if I do the same frame trap now with the activation. You get in 350 damage without spending any meter now in the corner with that sort of combo. Um, I don't know. I mean, you can optimize this, but then you've got to go for specific situations. You get specific combos, I guess. You could do something ridiculous. I wouldn't do that. That doesn't really make sense to me, but you could do something like that. What's that? Three, six, nine damage now for two bar. Um, it's another combo. That's actually less damage. So you can see there's a number of... I mean, if you if, if, if you were to go for an optimal combo there with the counter hit, probably be, probably be that one. But this is what I'm saying. With V-Trigger 1, the combos you get and, um, change dramatically and you can really net some sick damage if you know the combo routes but for this video keep it simple so I'll just basically go for crouch and medium punch back and medium punch with these activations and know the difference between the mid screen and the corner combos as well so what do we say mid screen was no bar same combo as non V trigger one. One bar. Learn that combo. Simples. He says. 
there is some variation to this so we covered all those have fallen into the crouch and medium punch bucket so step kick is a weird one because step kick activate is plus on block as well and you're plus seven there so you can if you want to stand heavy punch and that'll crush counter again you get a very similar combo there you can do crouch and medium punch in this situation if you do it too early it's a true string you see how Ryu blocked it it's because it was a true string so you have to delay it which is not that easy to do there you go so there is that option as well um, I don't know what else you'd use in that situation you could use lion breaker but that's, that's a difficult confirm. That's a one hit confirm off the plus frames. You're not guaranteed that to, you know, to hit or anything. So you may not want to do that. Um, I think stand he if you want to use auto timing to set up the frame trap, stand heavy punch is the one to use. Um, yeah. Again, you have various combos. That's probably what I would go for. The one bar spend in that situation isn't that good because of the crush counter. So, uh, what else could you do? You could do light punch DP, heavy punch DP. That's good, yeah. That's pretty good if you got the corner. That's quite good. But yeah, stand heavy punch is a good one to use off the step kick activate, which is plus seven. So that's another frame trap you want to use. Fireball activate. This is tricky because you have to manually time this. So, um, if I do raw at fire, if I do crouch and medium kick fireball, Okay, yeah, it's not going to work. <laughs> if I do raw fireball into activate, even the stand heavy punch is a true string. You have to delay it quite significantly. See that? So you have to play around with the timing here. But if I was to... What would I do here? Hmm. I think that's what I would do, you know. Slight delay, crouch and medium punch. It just feels natural to me. And I'll do a little walk forward as well. Crouch and medium punch, back medium punch. And the reason I do crouch and medium punch, back medium punch is, is because if the crouch and medium punch hits and there's no mash in between, I was trying to illustrate this for you. I can still get the frame trap off the back medium punch. get confirmed there. That's a little more high level, but that's the reason why I'd go for that situation. But to, to really dumb it down, just to stand heavy punch, add a slight delay, stand heavy punch to get the crush counter. It'll work with EX Fireball as well. But you have to delay a lot more with EX Fireball, as you can see. But you must this is the key to V-Trigger 1. You must abuse those plus frames on activation if you activate in the right way. Um, the reason why you'd use EX Fireball to activate is because if you look here, I'm out of range to activate. If I do EX Fireball activate from here, you see that? I went into V-Trigger and I was at range. So it's almost like a long reaching normal that I can activate activate off. And if Ryu is whiffing buttons, I can even activate from this kind of range. Normally I wouldn't be able to. But if Ryu whiffs a button, you will get an activation and plus frames in that situation. And that's the key to when, when you use Crouch and Medium Kick to activate. This is how you want to activate into V-Trigger off Crouch and Medium Kick. You want to use a Fireball. So that's EX Fireball. Notice how it's hitting as well, because it's it's technically a frame trap. So you don't want to do raw crouch and medium kick because that's bad. You want to do crouch and medium kick into fireball activate, and this is powerful because obviously the crouch and medium kick is a low attack. So if they're walking forwards and backwards, and that clips them, you will get you will get that. You get the crouch and medium kick hitting into the fireball and then an activation which leads us nicely into the next section what do you do if you get a hit so what combos do you go for if you get hit 
So let's look at that section now. First, we're going to start with the normal. So if you get stand medium punch, crouch and medium punch, stand heavy punch or stand heavy kick uh, uh, into V trigger one, um, what combos you go for. It's very basic. I'll give you two options to go for. One is a little bit more difficult because the timing's quite strict. But what should you do? So let's go with the medium punches first. Uh, to be fair, they're all the same. Stand the medium punches and the heavies into activate. If you want to be optimal, you always go for crouching heavy punch into like it tatsu. I'll show you why. That is your bog standard optimal combo with those three attacks into V trigger one. No meter to spend, good damage, corner carry to a certain degree as well. You get Oki as well after that. The problem with this is, is if you delay the crouching heavy punch or you mistime it, should I say, it won't combo. I think off crouching medium punch. Yeah, crouching medium punch it has to be immediate. You mess up the timing. You see how there's no combo there? They will block the crouching heavy punch. They will block that into Tatsu. So if you're not able to get the timing down for crouching heavy punch into like Tatsu, then you should do back medium punch. Just do back medium punch, heavy punch into heavy kick tatsu. It's not as much damage, but it's easier to link to hit, and it gives you the corner carry, and it gives you good oki as well. But you should master crouching heavy punch into like kick tatsu. Master the timing. That's all you need to know. If you want a more optimal combo off the crouching heavy punch. Um, it would be medium kick tatsu into EXDP. So crouching heavy punch, medium kick tatsu, EXDP. It changes in the, in the corner. If you want to spend one bar in the corner, you do crouching medium punch, EX fireball. And then after that, you get light punch DP, heavy punch DP. That's good damage. That's really good. If they're in the corner and you only got one bar to spend, uh, sorry, you got no bar to spend, then just do the same combo mid screen. Like your Tatsu Heavy Punch DP. That's good enough. There is a more optimal combo, but it's not very easy for, for beginners. You do Crouching Heavy Punch, Light Punch DP, Heavy Punch DP. See, even I messed it up. That's more optimal. But. You get a good setup. You get a good high low setup off the like it tatsu into heavy punch DP. So I actually use this a lot to get the setup. Which is that. But don't worry about the setup, just focus on the V-trig activations. So that's when you get um when you get those normals, the mediums and the heavies into activate, it's crouching heavy punch, or if you're not comfortable with that. Chin Buster, Heavy Kick Tatsu. You can get some funky combos here. You can get some really cool stuff. Like, uh, to be fair, is this even optimal? Let me have a look. That's two, three, two, seven, three. Okay, yeah, that is optimal. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because if you do the Chin Buster option, you've got the V skilled Light Punch DP, EXDP option as well. But, um,. I wasn't sure if that was better than the crouching heavy punch mini kick tatsu EXTP option. So lab those up, memorize them. Once you practice them and you remember them in your head, they're really easy to do in a match. You just the thing is with V Trigger 1, if you don't know your options, you're gonna be confused of what to go for and you're gonna go for suboptimal damage. Um, okay, so what about fireball activate? So fireball activate's another interesting one because you because of the heavy plus frames on hit. You get different combos now. So, I'm trying to think. Simplify this. If you don't want to spend meter, you get stand heavy punch into V skill like Itatsu. Heavy punch DP. Now, why this is good is because you get good corner carry because of the V skill, then the like Itatsu. 
heavy punch DP. You can extend the corner carry with EX Tatsu. So if I do this again. That puts them in the corner, even if you're cornered yourself to begin with. If you want to spend one bar, you can do Stand Heavy Punch, V Skull, Light Punch DP, EX DP. Again, at a very basic level. That does hella damage as well, it's really, really, really good. It will work in the same fashion with EX Fireball as well. And again, good damage. I'm not a fan of spending EX meter, unless, I re unless there's a situation as to why I need to, want to, after activation, because of the scaling of the V Trigger 1 activation. So what I would... Uh, what would I do? Yeah, so I guess I would do... Yeah. I don't mind doing that. After Fireball Activate, to be fair. It depends. It's situational, but I want to keep it really simple for you guys. There are op there are more optimal routes to take. There are like there's more, there's better things you can do when you activate. EX Fireball is an interesting one, for example, because you can do a dash. So you can, if you want to optimize your damage with EX Fireball, you can do a dash, crouch and heavy punch, like you Tatsu heavy punch DP. But it's not easy for beginners to do this. You can do that. The reason you do that is because the dash gives you like a bit more like you cover ground corner positioning you know corner carry but the crouching heavy punch into hit like your tattoos the more optimal combo route overstand heavy punch B skill like like your tattoo heavy punch dp but the reason why i don't want to tell you guys to do that is because that's more difficult there's an even more optimal combo you can do after the ex fireball activate and it's dash forward crouching heavy punch Light Punch DP, EX DP, but this is extremely difficult to do. It's not extremely difficult to do, but it's not it's, it's not easy. <laughs> it's um the way I do this is I do a dash and I, I hold down back and I do crash and heavy punch, light punch DP. The reason why I hold down back is because it stops the um <sighs> I can't explain it. What happens? You get, yeah, you get a fire, you can sometimes get a fireball after the four, for me anyway, when I do the forward dash, crash and heavy punch, I find it tricky to do the light punch D, DP after it. I find it much easier to do if I hold down back. It's just a me thing, but let me show you that now. Again, this is not for beginners, but it's just to demonstrate what you can do um, if you're trying to be super optimal. So I messed it up already. That is super optimal. But it's not easy to do so i'm just showing you that for demonstration purposes but for the very beginners stick to stand heavy punch v skill no meter like it tatsu heavy punch dp and if you've got one bar of meter to spend after the activation light punch dp x dp after the v skill in the corner um if you do five will activate it's kind of the same as, um, it's kind of the same as non, the, the, the normals into activate. Optimal, no bar, crouch and heavy punch into light punch DP, heavy punch DP. If you want to spend another bar. Crouching, heavy punch, EX fireball, light punch DP into Heavy Punch DP. Uh, so like things like this, if you were to do like a really long combo, if I show you this for example. Um, I spent three bars in that combo. If I, okay, let me show you like a really, really, like a really bad example. This com, if I was to do this combo, it's super, super unoptimal. That was a crush counter combo. So that was crush counter into EX Fireball Activate, Crouching Heavy Punch EX Fireball, Light Punch DP into EX DP. I scored 255 damage from spending my V Trigger, three bars a meter, and a crush counter. You're better off just going for a non V Trigger combo. So, like, um, 
That's more damage. How ridiculous is that? I didn't spend no meter. I didn't activate. Look at the damage I got there. More damage. If you want to spend one bar, again, just don't activate. Let's go for a one bar spend. It's more optimal. One bar spend. More damage with the one bar. Um, if you want to go for activate, then make sure you get less hits and do your damage before you activate. So if I was to do this now. Could do that. Even that's suboptimal. It's not even worth doing. So you can see you have to really think about your meter spend and your activation routes, act act activation choices where you activate V-Trigger based on the way you score a hit with the opponent. But we're mainly focusing on just buffering V-Trigger for this video. So these situations. Fire will activate as well. Don't get bogged down with the craziness. That's the stuff I don't want you to focus on. I showed it here just to explain some concepts, but don't focus on the big combo activate routes for now. Stick to what I've showed you in the video. So this is purely about buffers and optimization, whether you're on block or on hit, to expose the opponent's defensive options or to optimize your damage. I think this video, guys, I know it's been a long one, but I think in a nutshell that explains V Trigger 1. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to know about with V Trigger 1. The only other thing I can think of is significantly like it Tatsu. So like it Tatsu is minus on block, heavily negative, heavily punishable. Minus what minus eight is it? I think it was minus eight. But if you activate off the like it tatsu, oops. You're actually plus two. So you can frame trap here as well. If you ever have a situation, say if you wake up, if you get if you get knocked down and you want to do light wake up like tatsu into V trigger, it's a legit option because the like tatsu three frame startup and the V trigger one makes it plus on block. But if you do this, if you want to frame trap, you can't do crouching meaning punch now against three frame characters. My inputs are terrible, isn't it? It's because you're only plus two. So this is a situation where you have to do light punch, back medium punch, and that will frame trap a three frame mash. You can see there, your net could damage off it as well. So it's not it's not a bad option. Uh, what else, what else? The only thing else, oh, let's, let's talk about, okay, for the last section, let's talk about what happens to the specials when you go into V-Trigger 1. That's a good idea. Okay. Okay, guys, for the last section of this video, what happens to his normals, uh, his specials now when he goes into V-Trigger 1? Well, things get buffed. He gets more damage potential. And this is where, um, this is a little bit more advanced. So this is like when you're more comfortable with the V-Trigger. What do you do with it when you're in V-Trigger? So don't laugh. The first thing I'm going to tell you is, is that Heavy Kick Tatsu, is now minus two on block. It's now no longer punishable by majority of the moves in the game. There are some circumstances where it can technically be punished, but we won't cover those in this video. So you can throw that out and block after it and be safe. Um, normally it's minus four, which is um, punishable in this game. So you can do that. And you get ridiculous damage off it as well. So if I show you, the, so yeah, in the corner, You'll get a light punch DP, heavy punch DP, which is pretty mad. It's good to be, I mean, you can, the hard read, you can go over, over fireballs with this. You can see there's a lot of damage you can score with the right meter. It should be well over 500. 555, five, five. look at that man, that's more than half a health bar. So that is buffed. EX Fireball as well is an interesting one because EX Fireball now becomes plus three on block. So normally where you'd be, you'd be plus one on block, an opponent can mash jab to, I'll show you this now, but come out of V-Trigger. I get a trade if I jab there, I'm only plus one against the three frame. Once in once in V trigger, I 
can frame trap now. Happily. I can actually do crouching. I should be able to do crouching medium punch. So that becomes more scary in the corner as well. You can do things like. Um, So when you're in V-Trigger 1 and you've got EX Fireball, you can create frame traps using the EX Fireball to score really, to score really scary damage in the corner. If I set Ryu to guard all again. Things like that, so... Um, trying to get the Light Punch DP to hit here, so... I think Crouching, Light Punch, Crouching, Light Punch, EX Fireball. There we go. So even though I didn't confirm into EX Fireball, Ryu mashing 3 frame after crouching light punch into X Fireball. I can convert off that into light punch DP, heavy punch DP. I think the same works for light kick as well, stand light kick. You get a trade, but same situation. Stand light punch maybe? Yeah. So I'm not confirming into X Fireball, but when the X Fireball hits, you can react into light punch DP, heavy punch DP. That's pretty nice as well. You can't do this stuff mid-screen though. That's the uh, that's the downfall of this V-Trigger. His combo potential mid-screen isn't as scary as it is in the corner. So if I do that, can't really do much there. You may get EXDP. Yeah. But that's not a normal situation you go for. It's more in the corner. You'd set up like these strings. So like another example would be... That's another good one. And convert off that. The EX Tatsu works as well. The EX Tatsu works nice off the X Fireball in the corner. So his damage again becomes more scary. The shimmy situation. Let's say you knock the opponent down. So if I'm not in V trigger, what's my what's my optimal shimmy here? Off crouching medium kick. EX Tatsu for 194 damage. I've got CA, um it's gonna be something like that. Whatever that will be. Look at the damage you get now in V Trigger 1. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Now, this is something specific I should tell you about V Trigger 1. The Light Kick Tatsu hits twice. You cannot hit Light Punch DP. It'll whiff. You're forced to go Heavy Punch DP. But if one hit of the Light Kick Tatsu hits near the corner, the Light Punch DP does hit. So now you get Light Punch DP. Heavy Punch DP off a Light Kick Tatsu. That's why like, I really like this. If, if I'm in V Trigger 1 and i got full stock and someone shim, I, I, I shimmy them. That is ridiculous damage. With CA, the shimmy becomes so scary with V Trigger 1. So again, he has a lot of combo roots here, a lot of combo potential. Um. The last thing I'll show you is is a frame trap. So without V Trigger 1, if I was to do stand medium punch, back medium punch, um, stand medium punch, back medium punch, there's a frame trap like that. One bar spend, two, three, three damage. We showed this, I showed you this before, but I'm going to show you it's a frame trap now. If I do the same again now, spending one bar, three, three, five, massive difference, man. And I think as well, even with two, so this is a bit of a YOLO approach, but if I would, you know where I say use Chin Buster into EX Fireball, just to keep the Chin Buster safe? You can do that without V Trigger 1 and score a hit and a little bit of damage. You get nothing after that. You can't EX Tatsu, you can't EX DP. It'll miss. But with V Trigger 1 mid screen, you can, with two bar, you can convert. The ex tatsu. Now that is really, really nice. So, beginner, immediate, um, intermediate players who want to use stand light punch into back medium punch as a frame trap, but want to use ex fireball to keep it safe because they're not good at confirming it raw. The back medium punch. You can do the ex fireball and then convert off the ex fireball into ex tatsu. It's a really good option. I tell you why this is good, even for ex expert players, where you commit to um, the frame trap. So the back medium punch, heavy punch, EX Fireball. So this is a true string. If you add a delay, it becomes a frame trap. Like that, yeah. So you can't raw confirm off the head. Well, you, 
it's very difficult. I don't know. I don't know if it's possible, but you can't. I'm not sure if you can actually raw confirm off the heavy punch portion of Chimbuster into EX Fireball. I'm not sure. I don't think that's possible. But the thing with this is, if you're using that technique to set the frame trap mid screen into EX Fireball, and you've got another bar to spend, you can EX Tattoo off it. Now that's pretty big, and I don't use that enough when I've got two bars. So that's a really good expert sort of tip for you guys there. We're using the Chimbuster frame trap with EX Fireball, and you've got um, another bar to spend. You can get a conversion. Really nice, that. I guess it works with activation as well. I think I've covered this before in another video, but you can do sand heavy punch, back medium punch into activate to get plus frames. I didn't cover this actually, did I? You can do that as well. That's safe on block, but on hit. So if I show you on block, I don't know what it is on block. Plus three. So plus three. Let's go, let's go mid screen. This is going back to topic number two now. I get that frame trap and block there. I commit to Chimbuster um, into activate and then block the, the, the heavy punch portion of Chimbuster. It's plus three, so I get a crouching heavy punch, crouching medium punch frame trap there. Good, nice. But if you create the delay, activate, you get light punch DP, heavy punch DP. So you can use that as well. I don't know if there's a more optimal route here, I'm not sure. Um, could do something like that. I don't know, I'm just freestyling now, but you could do EX Fireball after the heavy punch portion of the delayed Chin Buster and then convert off that. I don't know what the options are. Um, I think I like this. I like this. That's nice, actually. That's good. You don't spend any meter as well. So what I did there was is I did, I did a heavy fireball after the heavy punch frame trap off Chin Buster, activated, and I did immediate heavy kick tatsu into heavy punch DP. I oh, know, I've got to do fire by now. It doesn't always work because it depends on the float. If you look at this now. Oh, man. You see how Ryu goes straight to the ground? If I do it using the Chin Buster fireball activate, Watch him float for a little while. If he floats like that, you can heavy punch DP or EX DP after it, or CA as well, I think. If he doesn't float, you cannot DP. So that's that's more of an expert tip, but that's a nice activation. I don't use that enough, to be fair. Usually this is what I do. I do um, the, the frame trap with the step kick. It would normally be like a stand light punch, back medium punch. I usually do that these days. But if you're doing the frame trap chin buster, that's that's nice. Again, a more expert tip for you guys there. I really, I really should use that for where I use the chin buster delay. I like this option. I just don't, I just don't use it enough. In the corner, it's really straightforward. You just, you get. Um, if I were to do the frame trap and V trigger. Commit to the X Fireball. You just get heavy punch DP there. Really easy, really simple. You don't need to spend that second bar, the meter. Okay, guys, that's a lot of information I know. I know. So you've got to break it down to where you are as a chem player. Do those more expert tips appeal to you? Those techniques I showed you? And take those on board. But for you beginner guys, focus on what I said about the buffers. So medium punches, crouch and medium punch, stand medium punch, stand heavy punch, stand heavy kick. And then on block, create the frame trap. On hit, go for the optimal combo. So for the normals, it's immediate crouch and heavy punch like it tatsu. So the recap. This is mid-screen of course. It works it works at the corner as well. But mid-screen and corner. If you want to keep it at a really basic level. That's what I showed you. And the fireball activate, go stand heavy punch V skill. One bar, light punch DP, EX DP, no bar, after like it tatsu, heavy punch DP. Keep it simple, that's all you guys need to know. 
hopefully that's been helpful guys it's a lot of information if you want more if you want that summarized look at the video description and i'll summarize what this video is about because i've kind of gone off on a tangent but i was trying to cover all of v trigger one for you guys there do you know what i mean so um questions ask questions and i'll answer them and i'll really simplify this v trigger one for you because it's not that hard to use it's hard to optimize it i won't lie to you guys to optimize your damage is very difficult because there's many combo routes to learn but there's some really easy principles to pick up and once you've learned the principles of v trigger one it becomes so simple it comes it becomes second nature but like everything you've got to invest the time to master the techniques i always say this in my videos so you have to practice 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 train 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 and it'll become second nature so guys thank you for watching um a really good video i feel for you guys starting out with v trigger one but yeah a long one i couldn't really wrap it up any any more than that but i think i've gone into v trigger one in as much detail as i can to cover it there are other things you know i haven't covered dive kick dive kick changes in v trigger one as well but let's not complicate this video anymore than i already have so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed any questions ask away and i'll catch you in the next one take care